We are with Jan Nepomnici, world champion, challenger, and the leader of our tournament after four days. Jan, it's been an interesting tournament so far, but today you started off slowly. How did you manage to right the ship and come back and play so strong at the end? Oh, no idea. I actually just got very angry with myself. Uh, I mean, okay, I basically lost two normal positions with two like, big blunders against Chuck and Maxim. So, I, first of all, I tried to stop blundering and, you know, some, pull myself together. And, uh, I mean, in general, uh, I don't think I played too good, but uh, it was enough, you know, to change the flow and score some, score some wins. Use the word flow. How do you get into that flow when things are going badly? A lot of people just collapse and just keep going in that direction. But you change the flow, yeah. That's, that's how it works. I mean, okay, I don't know, basically, yeah. But as I tell, as I said yesterday, you know, in Blitz, it's very normal. Like uh, the day can start in, you know, in a very, in a very different way, uh, in a very different ways. Like, uh, for example, like today, I practically won the first game, you know, uh, but the second I lost, and then okay, it became shaky. But I mean, on the contrary, I think Shakriar uh, lost the first game, but then he won a few in a row. And this is uh, more or less, uh, you know, uh, often it goes uh, either well or, or, or not so well. And, you know, this mix it uh, like, you know, a lot of draws, like, I mean, some slow, slow stuff and so on. This is not very common in these tournaments. Again, the question about flow. We watched Gary Kasparov today, mm -hmm. uh, your, uh, your compatriot. He did not perform anywhere near his standards. Mm -hmm. What was your feeling watching this happen to such a legend? I mean, it's, uh, I guess it's very simple because uh, Gary, like, at least mentally, yeah, he used to uh, always, you know, have big advantage in the opening part, uh, like uh, out preparing opponents. And this was like uh, one of his main, you know, strengths uh, within his career, especially, you know, last years. Uh, but now, you know, He's trying to go for some to some principal lines, and uh, okay, actually everyone like spends hours and hours, dozens of hours, uh, analyzing uh, some new sharp lines, and he constantly runs into you know some some trouble. So I guess once uh, he's trying to compete in the opening, uh, it would be you know it would it, it would be tricky. I mean, okay, it's completely unnecessary to score like this, but in general, I really hope he will be he, he, he'll do you know much better tomorrow uh, because. Uh, in general, you know, the, the level of his play is, you know, high enough if we exclude these, you know, uh, three, two, two or three opening catastrophes. And, you know, in general, I think it really affects your, uh, you know, mo moral part and, you know, you know, you, you become, you know, upset, tilted and so on and you, and you can't play, you know, uh, let's say on the full steam, yeah, so you're affected, you're playing under emotions. And in general, yeah, I think tomorrow he'll do much better. All right, let's hope for that and hope you continue with your good play or at least your good result. Good luck tomorrow. Well, uh, thank you, but actually I'm, I'm rooting for, you know, more for Gary than for myself. <laughs> Indeed, we all are rooting for him.